Welcome to my let's play of ATC3 Kaitech Airport. This is stage 1 on normal and let's just jump right in. Okay, this is the main control area of the game. These are flight route strips or something like that. Uh, when you can do stuff, you'll be mainly clicking options here. This is a transcript of messages received and sent. This is your rad air radar and ground radar. This tells you which runways are in use uh, based on wind direction and speed. Uh, aircraft take off and land flying into the wind. Target score, amount of time left, and so on. Let's uh, see. Uh, so when when an aircraft needs something, needs a response, it goes red. And this guy needs a tow to there. This guy will be leaving soon, so let's just give him the quickest route possible. Oh yeah, you can move these. Um. I started this let's play because I have been increasingly frustrated with the harder stages of this game. Uh, I started with stage one because it would be it would give me the opportunity to give an intro as to what I'm doing. Uh, after this, I'll jump straight into the stage that gave me ridiculous amounts of frustration, uh, which is stage three. Hong Kong Ground Cafe two one two one spot two request pushback. Yep. So you notice that this tends to go on and off, and sometimes it gets grayed out. Whenever they are talking to a specific frequency. They've essentially locked down that frequency, and unless they stop talking, you can't order them to do things. So this gives this guy some time to get dragged in. We don't want him to ram anything. So, Alright, runway 13. Long is this, short will be here. So let's get him out of here as quickly as possible. We can send him the long way round or the short way round, but no reason to send him the long way round. I try to keep only one runway in use at any time. You don't want to have head-ons and stuff. A lesson learned with through much pain. As you can see, there's always people who want shit done. Always. So let's get this guy out of the way first. People who are waiting for a tow can usually wait for quite a bit. A hold is optional, it'll hold them over a certain point, uh, which would be much more helpful if they reflected it here, but you know. But it's optional, so you don't need to um, order them to do anything if you don't want them to hold. Okay, now that that guy's transferred to a tower frequency, we can use ground frequency to get that guy to be towed to the spot. I apologize for the noise outside. There appear to be some irritating kids. 
Yeah, you're cleared. All this stuff? In, there's two modes, two difficulty levels, normal and expert. In expert mode, you need to know this shit. And there's no reference for you to check. You need to memorize where the destination airports are, what air routes you have to take. And you tell them their flight plan. Well, since he's already here, might as well send him to the short runway. Taxi to runway one it's not a bad game. Graphics are a little dated, but it is a sim. Okay. Pan the camera around, view it from the tower, but I try not to. I found that uh, doing stuff from the tower just leads to information overload. When there's too many planes taxiing around here, it's very distracting. You see this guy going here, and so on. Tower, China, Eastern 2-2, live on your frequency. Tower, China, Eastern 2-2, live, ready for departure. Yeah, you're clear. Eastern 2-2, five, clear for cable. Runway 1-3, wind 1-3, 0-F. Anyway, from what I can tell, there's a uh, VOR station or something like that in one of these islands. So planes coming in from here will come down here, circle, then hit into the landing pad and go around. Otherwise, planes from pretty much everywhere else will just fly straight, hit the landing pattern, circle, and turn in. It can be kind of, the distances on this map can be quite deceptive. I talked about radio channels before. Uh, there are four, I think, five. Uh, the uh, when departing, you start with. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, departure, I think. Can't remember. Ground? Oh well, we'll see when this guy calls for clearance to leave. Anyway, tower handles takeoff and landings. Ah, there we go. Delivery. Yeah. So delivery goes to handles the clearance of the flight, uh, flight plan and stuff like that. Tells them where they, uh, you know, flight plan. How they supposed to get out of here? Tower handles takes off and landings. This guy is currently being controlled by Departure, who handles, as the name suggests, Departures. All the way until they leave the air traffic control zone. And approaching aircraft are handled by approach. So that is... 5, I think? Is it five? Delivery, ground, tower, departure, and approach. Yeah, it's five. Oh, and ground handles anything that's on the ground, obviously. Who names their waypoint Magog? Maybe it means something else, I don't know. Northwest 4553, Hong Kong approach, radar contact, keep heading, vector 2, outbound, can say, I2, 1, 0, spot 3, request taxi, heading, vector 2, outbound, can say, I2, 1, 0, taxi 2, runway 13, taxi 2, 
from some local like there won't be any problems, and there probably won't. This is just the first stage after all. Let's see if we can't follow this guy all the way up. But we can't, because this guy is selfish and he wants me to tell him things. Yeah, takeoff is a bit short, but there is some time compression going on, so I can't really blame them. Otherwise, it takes way too long for planes to clear runways. Off you go. And you, coming in. No need for holding procedure. In some of the other airports, you need to control the altitude of the planes as to avoid them crashing to each other. It's pretty irritating. Just so many things to keep track of. Contact Hong Kong Control. Good day. Off you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying with us today. We will soon be landing shortly. Please make sure that you have your seatbelt securely fastened. Thank you. I think the in-flight announcement thing is a nice touch. They actually get, uh, from what I can tell, native speakers of the of Cantonese in this game to to voice them. In most of the other games which are in uh, Japanese airports, you mainly get Japanese announcements. But bilingual because, you know, that's what flights are like. Except for domestic flights. Domestic flights tend to only have the language of the, well, Japanese since Kaitak is an international airport. And most of China doesn't speak Cantonese. Yay, Changi Airport. I should be able to get him out after uh, Cathay 6514 before Northwest 4553. The infamous, I think it's called Beacon Hill with the checkerboard. If you've never seen a Kaitag approach, you should look it up on YouTube, it's pretty impressive. Here the pilot makes a visual only turn to land on the runway. Got like what? 10 seconds to make 
at any uh, if you miss the alignment. Pretty, pretty cool, in my opinion. But that's why I'm playing this game, I guess. Okay. Like I said, if it wasn't, if they, if landings didn't take uh, a reduced amount of time, it would take forever, and there would be massive traffic problems. There are all already massive traffic problems. Okay, let's send you. No, this works. It's really more impressive in real life in a 747. Thrusters, uh, lift dumpers? Uh. Okay, off you. Oh crap. I jammed my own frequency. See? Poor planning. Alright, off you go. Yeah, that works. I'm pretty sure it'd be a big no-no to actually clear for takeoff if an aircraft's still on the runway. Uh, we're gonna send them on the this way around to avoid ramming into these guys coming up here. Normally, I could just send them here, but it's a good habit once you've got lots of planes on the ground. One of the saving graces of Kaitak, two stop lines that let you safely keep planes on the ground without them getting into any trouble. It's not foolproof, of course. Planes are pretty big and they tend to bump into each other. Hong Kong ground, Dragon 6. You are clear taxi, my friend. Don't think we'll be able to get him off before Northwest 4553 comes in, though. Still, no reason having him jamming up ground frequencies. Uh, yeah, why not? I can tell him to stop. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I think 
I think I can get him off. Barely. Yeah, 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 you're clear. He'll make it barely. Yep, barely. Continue taxi, China Eastern 3854. And that's it for part one of ATC3 Kaisek Airport. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.